That was delicious! Hi everybody, it's me Joyce, and you're watching Joyce IRL. In the video game world today, a huge loss for Silicon Knights, delays for two pretty big games, and why you're probably going to be buying more Dr. Pepper pretty soon. The video game developer behind Metal Gear Solid and Two Human, Silicon Knights, just got rid of a ton of its employees. The Canadian-based company said they had to let go of most of their employees, so they went from almost 100 people to 25. The interesting thing is, though, the company just received millions of dollars in grants from the Ontario government to make the company self-sustaining and to add more to the employee headcount. Silicon Knights didn't exactly give a reason as to why they laid off all these people, especially after all this money. I have a hunch it's not about the money, it goes much deeper than that, and it probably has a lot to do with the fact that their latest game, X-Men Destiny, did terribly. Valve told us we would be getting the Counter-Strike Global Offensive closed beta in October. October's done, right? Well, apparently the beta is going to be delayed. No kidding. The delay is a response to feedback that the company got from Counter-Strike experts who already tested the game. Apparently there are huge issues they have to fix before they release the beta to a wider audience. There's no updated release date for the beta, but when it does come out, they're only going to start with 10,000 players, and then over time they're going to increase that number little by little. Valve also says there's no end date for the beta, so eventually everybody's going to have access to it. And the final version of the beta will be the actual version of Counter-Strike Global Offensive that Valve wants to release. Speaking of delays, the first DLC pack for Gears of War 3 was set to launch today, but alas, it's delayed. What is it with all these last minute delay announcements? Epic Games says it's technical issues that are causing the tardiness, but they're working around the clock to make sure it gets fixed quickly and released quickly, so they'll let us know when it'll actually come out. Epic Games also said this will not affect the release date for the second DLC pack, which comes out in December. It looks like EA is following in Activision's footsteps and using soft drinks to promote Battlefield 3. EA just made a deal with Dr. Pepper to release exclusive DLC for Battlefield 3 starting this week. On some Dr. Pepper bottles, you'll find a code which you would redeem on Dr. Pepper's website, and you can get DLC like multiplayer skins, PlayStation Home avatars, and some pretty nifty meme-based dog tags. And if you don't want to pay for the soda, or if you're not a soda drinker, you can actually get free codes on Dr. Pepper's actual website. Activision is doing something similar to promote Modern Warfare 3, but they're doing it through Mountain Dew and Doritos. Personally, I like Dr. Pepper a lot better. The promotion for Battlefield 3 and Dr. Pepper ends on December 31st, so you have until then to try and get some free codes. Oh, and before I forget, don't you forget that the trailer for GTA 5 comes out tomorrow. I know there's a countdown for it, so if you're looking forward to it, just keep an eye out. All right, friends, well, that's going to be it for my show today. Thank you so much for watching. No, really. Thank you for sticking around each and every day for all your feedback, all your positive words, and for just being really awesome viewers. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Well, I will see you all tomorrow, and I hope you all have a really good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.